We grew up on a farm. My parents raised Texas Longhorns and they also grew alfalfa. We were doing organic farming before organic was a thing. From there, we moved uh, away to the suburbs. You know, I think ever since then, we've kind of yearned to kind of get back to that, that farm life. After we sold our business in Boise a couple years ago, I just really wanted to get back to working with the soil. Once you do it once, it's kind of in your blood. I was working in the CBD cannabis industry for the last five years, and my parents were talking about getting into farming, and I saw an opportunity to kind of talk to them. Learning about what Luke's doing in the hemp industry, he brought it to our attention, you know, what about hemp? And so we thought, yeah, what about hemp, and what would that take? Came out here to Oregon, found the perfect place, and ever since then, like I said, I just love it out here. When we got here, the soil was kind of dead a little bit. Over the last two or three years, we've actually been able to rebuild it. So we've actually now have a, a living soil, which means we have millions of microbials, the uh, natural nutrients are coming back in the soil, which in turn is just making a really clean, healthy hemp plant. Hemp is a plant that will kind of suck up everything in the in the soil. Because we grow organically and we don't use any pesticides or herbicides, there's actually a lot of weeds and a lot of management that we have to really be on top of. We put so much into growing these plants, so we were very particular with the amendments that we used as we grew the plants. A lot of farms use big machines, big harvesters. All of our products are all hand-picked, hand-hung. It's just a hands-on type of farm we have out here. But we're out there in the field every day, making sure the plants are growing to where they need to be. They grow throughout the whole season, and then about October, the whole family comes together. We get as many friends and family together that want to help us. We wake up early, and we spend pretty much all day out in the field, hand harvesting the plants. We try to get that just right, and we'll actually take that and put it into our pre-rolls. I love growing the plant. I love walking through the plant. I love the process. I love the harvest. We realized through our process that you can't just grow any flower and put in a pre-roll and actually have it taste good, be smooth, and we want it to be quality ingredients. Uh, we load them onto the trailer, bring them over to the greenhouses uh, where we break them down basically. We really dialed in how to control the moisture, control the rate at which they're drying, and then cure them. Once I started to get closer to where it's grown, I saw how much medicine is in the plant. And when we decided to make a topical, we wanted something that would be really all purpose, that kind of had a lot of jobs that it could do. I have used the topicals and it just helped me in my life. So that kind of encouraged me too, to look more into CBD. I have shared that with family members and friends, which just encouraged us even more to go into the CBD industry. We take it to a local extractor who extracts the actual CBD oil. We watch that process closely and make sure it's done right. We get it back and we make our, our products, our topicals, gel caps um, out of the oil. In order for us to grow the best possible CBD, it starts with the soil. And we want it to be quality ingredients and something that is enjoyable. I love that it's a family farm and I love that we're now able to do products and I'm getting feedback from customers that say, you know, it's changed their life. It's helped them. It's helped them thrive in their lives. I mean, I just feel blessed to be here.